and welcome back to more Sonic Generations! Last time, we defeated Shadow for Nether Chaos Emerald and collected the three boss gate keys. This time, we're going to fight the boss of Area 2. Next up is a fight with Perfect Chaos from Sonic Adventure. I really like this boss fight. I like the opening cutscene, how it recreates the zoom in on Perfect Chaos's eye, and as a boss fight, it's also really fun and plays out kind of similarly to the original, such as boosting through Perfect Chaos to its core. Alright, so now we're going through a 2D section. I really like the look of the destroyed station square as well. Um, and the remix of Open Your Heart is also pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is probably my favorite boss fight in the entire game, actually. Uh, even more so than the uh, bosses we haven't seen yet. Alright, so let's make our way through here, and now we're back in 2D, trying to dodge all of these attacks. And we need to make our way up here. So yeah, I like how it combines the 2D and 3D gameplay of modern Sonic in really creative ways. Uh, so let's go in for another attack. We're back in 3D, and we have to boost along the water, dodging Perfect Chaos's attacks uh, and trying to make it over to them. Um, from here, uh, let's try to carefully platform across, avoiding falling into the water. Um, and let's boost through again. And now we're in phase two. If I had anything to criticize about this boss fight, it is this phase, because uh, these moving platforms can actually mess up the homing attack. Um, so that can make things a little bit frustrating, especially when trying to go for a, an S rank. Um, but beyond that, I still stand by this being a very good boss fight. So, so let's make our way up here. Like there, it definitely messed up there. That was definitely a close call at the end, but we still made it through for another S rank. You brought back quite a bit of this world. You're doing great, Sonic. You mean, you're doing great Sonics. Right. I may never get used to that. Oh! Watch out! That monster sure didn't like that emerald. Those things have come in handy in the past. We've already got a couple, but... We, we need, need that, that emerald! Sonic, you should go over there and check it out! I bet you can bring that Chaos Emerald back, just like you brought back our friends! And I bet you double we're gonna need all seven emeralds! You guys have your work cut out for you! I didn't 
adventure's no fun if it's too easy. You can now access and explore the next area. You got a Chaos Emerald. Alright, let's explore Area 3. Starting with this next, uh, zone. This is Crisis City from everyone's favorite game, Sonic the Hedgehog, or as it's better known, Sonic 06. This is actually one of my least favorite stages in the game, and I actually I actually like Sonic 06 more than most. I think it's actually a fun game and how broken it is, um, even though it's, it's definitely not a good game by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this stage really pushes the limits of uh, classic Sonic's platforming abilities um, in ways that they were that they were never meant to be uh, pushed that far. Basically, so well, we'll have to see how this goes. Um, if we are going to get an A rank or lower on a regular stage, um, this is definitely going to be the one um, because it is very difficult. It does make sense. We are getting close to the end, um, and. Inherently, I do like the idea of adapting a Sonic 06 stage into a platformer or a side-scroller. Um, but now that we're in the next era, uh, I suppose this is a good time to talk about one issue I have about this game. Is, is that they actually leave out certain games. Um, like Sonic CD was left out. So I kind of wish there was actually some more stages uh, for each era. Um, for example, I would have been fine even with like a Shadow the Hedgehog stage, uh, just because, you know, that game does have some good level designs, uh, even if the game itself is pretty bad, if you ask me. Um, and yeah, having like four stages per era, honestly, I think would have been a little bit better, partly just because I like the game and wish there was more of it, to be honest. Um, and yeah, the classic era uh, gets a little bit glossed over, I feel. Um, so this era is very different on the 3DS version. Instead of um, Sonic 06, uh, the level after uh, Radical Highway, I'm pretty sure... I actually don't think there's a level for Heroes. I think it skips straight ahead, actually, um, to Sonic Rush, the uh, water level from that game. I actually don't remember the name of it, so I, I can't <laughs> exactly say what it was for, for sure. Um, and then, uh, there's also a stage from the DS version of Sonic Colors, um, since that game was on console, or on Wii and DS. Um, so yeah, it is interesting how they actually went about, uh, I forgot there was a bottomless pit there, uh, but as I was saying, it was interesting how they went about picking stages for both versions, to be honest. Um, Alright, so there goes our S rank. Uh, again, if that was going to happen, this would have been the stage it would happen in, so I'm not too shocked by that. Um, uh, let's collect this red ring very carefully and try to see where we need to go from here. So, um, this is what I meant by um, this stage kind of pushing Sonic's platforming capabilities to their limits. Um, Sonic's momentum is stiffer than in the uh, classic games, and um, it's very apparent in this section where we have uh, wind uh, physics, basically. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, it definitely doesn't work as well as it should, um, because there is a tornado, presumably carrying a car, uh, as the meme would state. Um, we also have this random cannon from uh, Seaside Hill for some reason. Um, Feels a little bit out of place with the colorful, vibrant aesthetic of Sonic uh, Heroes. Um, well, there's the goal up there. It's actually moving. 
Um, so yeah, we are being pulled backwards by the tornado, so we have to carefully platform up while dealing with this tornado. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not great, but ho uh, hopefully we will be able to get up here uh, to this ledge without too much trouble. Uh, so far, it's not going particularly well. Outside of that one death, that was actually pretty good. We would have gotten an S rank otherwise. Hot song, Angel Island Zone from Sonic 3. So next up is Modern Crisis City. The stomp move is featured in the next act. Would you like to see the, see a tutorial? <laughs> We've been using this the entire game, so uh, no. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of classic Crisis City, I actually do like modern Crisis City. Um, luckily we skip the snowboarding section from 06 entirely and immediately jump into the um, on foot section. Um, no complaints here, that section was not great. Um, but yeah, this is a very, a very fun level, but it's also very difficult. So again, uh, I'm not entirely expecting getting an S rank on this, but it is definitely a lot easier than uh, the classic variant. If we go along the side of here, there's a red ring. We actually missed it, oh well. Um, so let's keep moving. There's not, not an easy way to go back for a lot of red rings, so if you miss one, you basically have to restart the level. Uh, which is why I'm not really concerned about the red rings. Uh, by comparison, going through all the challenge acts is a lot easier uh, in terms of like 100% criteria. Um, so I would like to show those off, because they're not usually too bad. Um, so yeah, Sonic 06, um, Crisis City is the logical choice. You know, Wave Ocean would be a little bit redundant since we, since we would have just gone through Seaside Hill. Um, White Acropolis would have been fun, actually, because I don't think there's actually a snow level. Um, so yeah, I would have been fine with that. Crisis City is so iconic, though, that uh, it makes sense. Um, yeah, overall Sonic 06 does have some good levels, kind of like what I said about Shadow, where it has good levels, even if... oh. Again, I'm actually amazed that didn't happen sooner. Uh, I pressed uh, X instead of A, uh, which is how a homing attack works in Sonic uh, 06. So yeah, I'm actually surprised I hadn't done that sooner, uh, to be honest. Oh well. It would be the 06 levels where I have a lot of trouble. I actually think the next level is easier. Um, it's actually a little bit tricky to get to get an S rank just because the next stages start to get really long. Uh, but in terms of overall difficulty, I think the next stages are actually easier. Um, so if you have not used the stomp so far, it's A and B. Um, I guess if you're on PlayStation, it'd be X and Circle. Um, I haven't really been talking about the PlayStation button layout very often because really. If you're playing this game, you're probably playing it through either the PC version or the uh, Xbox version, just because of availability. Um, so yeah, overall, um, Crisis City is fun, and I actually do like the music in 06, so having uh, Sonic 06 music like Crisis City is cool, even if the stage itself isn't my favorite. Um, I think I think the next level is actually my favorite uh, modern Sonic stage that isn't a boss fight, uh, so I'm excited for the next one. I actually might go out of order um, and try to play the modern stage first, just because I like it that much. But we'll see. I might do Act One first uh, still. Um, so these are kind of like pressure sensitive. Basically, if you um, push them downwards, they'll eventually spring upwards, um, which can be bad. Um, so you have to move kind of quickly across, like so. Um, this is a little bit scary, but not too bad from here. Uh, that's an example of it uh, launching up on its own. This is a little bit intimidating, having to land on this moving platform uh, on a time limit, basically, because of the lava. 
And we already are actually close to the end of the stage. Sonic 06 stages feel a lot shorter when you don't have to sit through a minute long loading time in the middle of the stage. Um, we have a bunch of debris being launched at us. Uh, so let's make our way past here and run straight into a lava plume and make it over here to the goal. Again, that would have been an S rank if it hadn't been for that one death. I dislike relying on others. I'm grateful for your aid. The creature was beyond my skills. Hmm. I thank you for your help, but still, I don't think we can let our guard down yet. We got artwork 18. Unfortunately, the next acts are actually pretty long, so we're we're going to worry about those next time. Um, in the meantime, let's head back over here and try out another challenge. Uh, I am feeling like trying a city escape challenge, so let's carefully platform up here and uh, see what's up here. I'm pretty sure this is actually Seaside Hill. No, this is city escape. Uh, so yeah, let's try. Uh, this other one to the right here. Topsy Turvy. Use the horizontal bars and spinning platforms to reach the goal before time runs out. One thing I actually find really disappointing in this game. Uh, is that this is actually the first uh, mainline Sonic game that isn't like a spin-off or a handheld title um, to have the uh, new voice cast. Uh, in 2010, all of the characters except Dr. Eggman were recast, um, and it kind of is weird to me that they don't really speak very much, and in hindsight it's even weirder because they actually had some fairly big names, or at least people who would go on to be really big names. Um, like Espio the Chameleon is voiced by Troy Baker in this game, um, which is kind of weird to think that he was in such a minor role in this game, um, considering how very shortly after this he would be in like The Last of Us and Bioshock Infinite and kind of have his career take off. Um, Blaze the Cat and Omochow are both voiced by Laura Bailey, who um, also is in The Last of Us. Um, but also uh, recently was a new replicant as Kaine, a very different character from Omochao to say the least. Um, if you have played Neo, you will know exactly what I mean. This is not a fun challenge actually because of these uh, rotating platforms, uh, and the physics are kind of off on these. But that wasn't over- that overall that wasn't too bad. So next time we'll try out another new stage, so thank you for watching and I hope to join you next time for more Sonic Generations.